Morning golfers, got the coffee going again here, my old man reading glasses. <laughs> Back in the teaching studio, Kevin Haim, by the way, uh, been teaching for 30 years, kind of in the trenches, uh, you know, it's great to watch the really famous teaching pros on television and jetting around the world, but the reality for most PGA professionals is we teach those average people and uh, try to make impressions on them and improve them. And y you know, the thing about it is if you do work just a little bit on your game and get a little good quality information, uh, you can get a lot better. Uh, people just don't know what they're doing wrong. And so today we're going to have a little fun with body coil, how the body acts in the backswing. And it's so important to do this properly because if you swing back properly, the transition and the move forward is so simple. So uh, what we say here is that you coil your body as you swing your arms up at the Kevin Haim Golf School, by the way, and that, you know, the upper body kind of is the boss. The lower body is actually, it's not restricting, but it's certainly supporting and stabilizing as that upper body turns and those arms swing up. So I wanted to use uh, our old national hero here, Mike Weir, who I love this footage, got it years and years ago. He's in a pair of shorts, which makes it easy to understand things. Uh, I like the video, and uh, needless to say, you know, as I said, Mike won the Masters in t 2003, which had an impact on me as a teacher and everything. So let's use Mike Weir, but we will uh, have a look at his evil twin brother, uh, right-handed. Our software allows us to switch him around. And I wanted to start today teaching you about coil and how the body should wind by showing you a couple of clients who don't do it great. Uh, and, and here's one of them here, and I, I, I want to just swing this golfer up to the top and have you have a look. We've blurred his face just because, you know, we don't want him to get upset with us. The swing isn't even too bad, but I don't know if you guys can tell what he does wrong there. Is there anything that pops out at you? There's one player swinging back. Here's another one. And this player, similarly, not neither is a bad player, but look at the way this golf swing gets up to the top. And there we go again with the body motion. And All right, let's show you what's wrong with that now. What's wrong with these moves is the body is swinging with the arm. So they call it a golf swing because the arms swing up. The body, though, has to wind into itself. The lower body uh, stabilizes, I said, and restricts a little bit. And uh, it keeps, it, it builds up like a coil, an upper body turn over a lower body. You get that torque and leverage in your game. And if we watch this player here, and I put a little line on their back leg and even on their hips, and then I swing this golfer back. You can see that, you see that hip sneak out this way? I call that a bleeder. When the weight gets to the outside of the back foot and the body moves laterally, you're not in a very good position to move forward. As a matter of fact, it's impossible. For those Canadians out there watching, you know what happens if the, if the weight gets to the outside of your skate or your skate blade, you fall down. You can't move forward. And really, to have an ability to move forward properly, you need to be on the inside of your back leg. Uh, it's not a lateral shift. It's a rotational windup. So we see that there a little in that player. And so I don't know if you can tell, but the upper body's got a lot to do with the downswing here. He's having a hard time really activating that hip and getting moving. So we see that in that player, and we see it in this player as well. A little differently, but once again, if you put that little pivot post mark, you see that hip slide over there? So your midsection really shouldn't move laterally in golf, and it shouldn't start your backswing. Let me show you how it's done right. Let me use Mike Weir and show you how it's done right. So we'll click back over to our golf pros, and we'll bring Mr. Weir up, and there he is. And, and we're, we're going to explain wind up here. So we'll do it a couple of ways. We're going to put a few lines on on Mike here. First of all, we'll check his back leg and see if it maintains its angle as he swings that golf club back. Let's check that out right here. Put a line on his back leg. I'm also going to put a couple of circles. We're going to put a circle on one kneecap and on the other kneecap, and then we'll put a circle on his head. And let's just bring him up to the top quickly and see what, what goes on here. So up he goes. And we'll see a few things. First of all, the head stays pretty still, which is always uh, a good thing. Uh, you can hit the golf ball moving your head around a little bit, but it, it gets a little more complicated. But more importantly, look at his back leg. Look at how this red line here, his hips as he rotates back or his weight doesn't travel to the right at all. There's no shifting, it's a rotation. 
Look at his right knee, the little circle on his right knee here, his trailing knee. Look how that doesn't move anywhere. It kind of stays there. See that? And then that lead knee does come in a little bit, but ever so slightly, maybe a couple of inches. So what he's doing is he's winding himself up. And, uh, you know, what I say to golfers, and, and I actually heard this term from Pete Cowan, a great European uh, golf coach, is that he's winding up like a spiral staircase. So his chest turns 90. I'm sorry, his shoulders turn 90, his chest turns about 70, his stomach is about 50, his hips are only about 40, his thighs are 30, his knees are 20. He's winding himself up from the top. Arms swing up, chest turns, lower body stabilizes. I really like the impression a lot. And from that position, it's very easy for him to move down properly from the ground up. We wind up from the top, we unwind from the bottom. So there we go. A couple little notes of interest here as he swings up. Watch his belt buckle, everybody. I mean, it starts here, and notice how, you know, his hands are already at waist high, and it may have moved half an inch. Sure hasn't moved very much. So you don't want your lower body and your legs to move early in the swing. You want to build that torque between the upper body and the lower body. But even as he, you know, completely winds up to the top of his backswing, he's maybe moved his belt line four inches of rotation. And at this point in his golf swing, and I wish sometimes that all of my clients could feel what I feel in a golf swing, but there's a little bit of a, a resisting torque into this leg as, the, as it accepts but stores the weight, the load of the swing to fire back then into the downswing. So I really like this position. Mike's got one of the more clean, simple wind-ups, and there's a great piece of video showing it. Let's have a look at those knees just to finish up here. So you understand it. It's not that we want a frozen lower body, everybody. We don't want that body to be frozen, but we do want a pretty quiet resisting one. So look at those knees, how little they move in the backswing. Most golfers I see, the first move immediately is the lower body starts going, right? So if we just jump into our video section here and we watch this gentleman again, Kick her back, and I'm working with him. You see how he's kicking his right knee in a little bit there at the start? So this is far from where we started, but uh, it's something that he's been working on for quite a while. So there he goes. We'll mark those knees up, and then we'll get him swinging back the golf club, and you'll see that the knees kind of travel too much. And they really, even with all the coaching, they, they just move way too much. Look at how much action we have there versus Mike Weir, right? Mike has kept his weight on the inside of that back leg. And this gentleman has shifted out over here and lost all his energy. And one of the things I say in golf is, as you're winding up, think of pushing your finger through a piece of uh, saran wrap. And if you're winding properly against that back leg, you're kind of building, a bigger backswing is better because we're building tension. But the moment you lose this back hip or this leg, it's like poking your finger through the saran wrap. All of the tension's gone. And now you're going to struggle to move forward properly. So we see how much he moves his knees, and then we bring Mr. Weir up to the top and see the difference there, right? Watch the same thing on the way down. Watch how quickly Mike exits those circles. The club head is still up here by his ear, and he's already moved on to his lead leg really well. We're, this golfer's going to struggle getting over there. Look, look just starting now to get into those circles and the club's already headed down into his downswing. So we know that that person's using the upper body and casting a bit. Next time you're practicing, think about this, everybody. Uh, let's go to Mr. Weir, watch him swing a couple of times here. I love Mike's action and uh, if we watch him swing that golf club and we understand how quiet he is in the backswing, especially with the lower body. It's a stabilizer. Turn that upper body as you swing your arms up. Try to keep those hips, that waist at least, pretty level and really work into turning and feeling the weight move into the inside of your thigh here and into your knee. And uh, that'll really help you move through the ball in the proper sequence, which is again, just to finish up, we wind from the top, we unwind from the bottom. That's the way it's done. Uh, get yourselves to a, a golf school, get yourselves to a video screen and compare yourself with a great player. And you'll very quickly learn 
uh, what you're doing wrong. You know, they, they say a picture's worth a thousand words, so what's a high-speed video worth? It's worth a lot more than that. And uh, if you want to understand what you're doing wrong to try to improve, you've got to compare yourself to a, a better position so it's really clear to you. Anyway, good luck with that. Hope it helps. That's how you coil your body in golf. You wind your upper body over your lower body. I'm Kevin Haim. You can find me uh, more content on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, or on Twitter, at Kevin Haim. Good luck with it.